First, the chaos in the courtroom at the sentencing hearing of the white supremacist who killed 10 black people at a Buffalo supermarket in May of last year. As families of the victims faced the shooter for the first time, a man who lost his aunt had to be restrained by police. The emotional moments followed by an apology from the gunman. He blamed his racist hate on what he's read online. CBS's Jeff Begay is in inside the courthouse for us and joins us now from Buffalo. Good evening, Jeff. Nora, family members of the victims have been carrying their grief with them for the past nine months. Today they exhaled, releasing their anger, releasing their heartbreak during a more than two hour court hearing. Speaking directly to the man who murdered their loved ones, one after the other, they stepped forward. Tamika Harper lost her aunt, Geraldine Talley. Do I want you to die? No. I want you to stay alive. I want you to think about this every day of your life. They announced the mass shooting in which the gunman killed 10 people, ranging in age from 32 to 86, in the aisles of the top supermarket. You are a cowardly racist. You're playing this whole thing. You planned it. You put it on a video like it was a video game and watched it. I watched my sister-in-law get shot by you. The anger in the room was palpable. We never go in no neighborhoods and take people out. Eventually, it spilled out into the open. One victim's relative held back by security trying to rush the gunman. Investigators say the gunman, who didn't live in Buffalo, is an avowed white supremacist. He live-streamed the massacre after planning it for weeks. They say he specifically targeted the store in black people. Today, he teared up at times and apologized. I'm very sorry for all the pain I forced the victims and their families to suffer through. I'm very sorry for stealing the lives of your loved ones. The apology rings hollow for the family of Catherine Massey. What did you think when he apologized? It, it means nothing to us. It, it, it wasn't sincere, number one, don't matter. You can't bring Cat back or any of them back. And the judge was unswayed. There is no place for you or your ignorant, hateful, and evil ideologies in a civilized society. There can be no mercy for you. The convicted killer sentenced to life without parole. He will be in federal court tomorrow facing 27 felonies, including hate crimes and the possibility that he could face the death penalty. Nora. Jeff Begays, thank you.